Why does Musk want to ban um, Apple devices with enhanced open AI connectivity? Well, this has a lot to do with some recent announcements, which many people had speculated would be coming through the pipe at Apple because as we've seen from current trends of the stock market and a lot more market value and emphasis has been placed on NVIDIA, which has a great advantage of being able to significantly participate in the semiconductor industry and production of chips which can be used for training generational or generative AI or other types of AI related models. Apple has fallen back <clears throat> Apple has fallen back and they're not actually able to they've not really been able to keep up also with the likes of Microsoft, which also has been um, despite layoffs increasing um, its investment into quantum computing. So this is to say that Apple, uh, by offering some type of connectivity with a lot of open AI models like ChatGPT Chat or GPT-3, allows us for allows for it to at least have some type of presence in the AI sphere that has been more dominated by you know Microsoft and Nvidia, and maybe even Amazon, and then um, it will allow it to at least like roll out some potentially some new new uh, functionalities of their current products. But Elon Musk comes in because in response to the announcement that was made from the open AI partnership between Apple at the Worldwide Developers Conference yesterday, and he was saying that he wants to ban or completely get rid of any type of Apple devices because he feels that the chat GPT connectivity that's powered through open AI that will be in the Apple devices is um, raises security threats. Look, Elon. I don't know I don't know what you're so worried about in terms of security dude you know like a lot of probably the government funded work and the government sponsored research that you do at say example SpaceX um, I don't really think the government uses Apple computers like that probably for military operations or like writing things or military correspondence on like with for launches that you guys do uh, with the Falcon I really doubt that you guys use Apple so much, first of all. But I know that even potentially or possibly across some of your other companies, you could be using some Apple devices, which could raise a security threat. But more than anything, Elon, this just demonstrates your hatred and your growing rivalry with Sam Altman, dude, you know? You and Sam used to be best friends, Elon, you know? That's kind of how you are, dude. Like... I don't know if it's like because of that damn ketamine that you're taking or you're taking some other stuff, dude. You have to be, you know, ketamine is just the tip of the iceberg for you, Elon. But, you know, um, you yeah, you have to be taking other things the way you act. But like before you were really good friends with Sam. And then because you guys had, um, you know, you guys were contesting about the direction that open AI should have should have been pursuing earlier before it had introduced the LLMs and everything, you dropped out even though you had been funding it. And then Sam was like swiping back and forth with you. And you know, you guys look like two cats fighting, dude. You know, like one meows and then the other meows louder. And then it's just a bunch of meowing, meowing for like 20 minutes between you guys. You know, like, look, Elon, Sam Altman, he did do, he did make a very good direction and a very good choice to go in the LLM because even though AI or open AI recently, like as of a couple months ago, I know that they laid off like a lot of um, like computer vision engineers, which had like math PhDs. So it's like some type of background that I'm familiar with. And I know that a lot of those layoffs, they had negatively impacted the headcount because I think that um, they had already been using a lot of their funding and they maybe couldn't keep up with the type of extremely generous compensation packages that were being offered earlier. And, you know, also given the fact that like um, Tesla was trying to pay some AI engineers or computer vision engineers, you know, because they can make, they can be of great benefit for Tesla um, in developing its, uh, prototype robotics, um, you know, uh, platform that it's going to be deploying, uh, more broadly through Optimus sometime in the future, like they've been saying, but like Sam, you know, 
just get over you you guys just both need to get over yourselves and you know stop fighting like cats every day dude you know like just chill out you know everything's gonna be okay elon if you want to get rid of them you don't have to make this grandiose big statement like oh i'm gonna ban all of these devices and do all these things like just you know just do us a favor just you know issue a statement in your company dude and you know more than anything elon to be as strategic as possible against sam I know that you're moving forward with building the world's largest supercomputer with 100,000 NVIDIA GPUs in uh, Memphis. That's already going to pose, uh, you know, um, pressure and constraints on how robust or how good um, Sam Altman can brag about, you know, OpenAI's, you know, proprietary frameworks and their models because you're going to have the advantage in terms of hardware and being able to run some types of uh, simulations and um, training uh, models on your own on this world's largest supercomputer that's to be built. So I think like that's already going to put more pressure on Sam Altman. So I think, you know, regardless, nevertheless, of the things that I said that were critical, both of them earlier, I still think that it's very strategic for Mux to do this because I really wish that I had a computer that was that larger, even on a larger scale, because it really gives you a lot of opportunities to like test out different models and to see where some bottlenecks and some algorithmic workflows would be. Like, you know, for instance, um, you know, in some other quantum algorithms that I ran that are probably even still of interest for Microsoft Quantum, them doubling down on their investment in quantum computing, it shows that they must at least have some have like several classes of algorithms whose runtimes they think could be uh, feasible and tractable with a larger scale quantum computer and even a larger scale supercomputer would only help for testing out um, similar aspects or other types of bottlenecks for different algorithms.